Hello everyone, welcome to linuxin.com YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about bash redirection. So the idea behind redirection is that anything that you write in the terminal that can be redirected to another file. So for example, if I write a command here, I can basically shift the output of the command to another file. That is basically redirection. So let's say that if I have ls here, and let's say that if I want to shift this ls result, let me show you the result first. So if I do ls here, I have world.sh as a result here. If I do ls hyphen al, you can see that I have this result. So what I want to do is that I want to transfer this ls hyphen al results into another file. In other words, I want to redirect it. So how do I do that? I just write here ls hyphen al, then I write here this angle bracket sign. And then after that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here a file name in which I want to transfer the results. So it could be a file that is already there, or you could basically create an entire new file. So if I write a name that is already not here, okay, in my current directory, then it is going to create that new file as a new file, and it's going to store that results into that file. Okay, so for example, if I write here output dot text, all right, so if I hit enter, mm -hmm. you can see that in my present directory, now a file named as output dot text has been generated. So if I want to see that what is inside this output dot text, what I would do that I would go to the nano editor, hit enter, and you can see that the exact result for ls hyphen al is inside the output dot text, right? Simple as that. So what if I want to store inside of it another command? So now I do ls and then I write here output dot text, hit enter. You know, this is the one line result, which is essentially world dot sh and output dot text, right? So now if I nano again, you can see that this is the ls result that is inside the output.txt file. You might have noticed one thing though, that here we have the previous data removed, like ls hyphen al, whatever the result was previously there, it's not here anymore, okay? And why is that? Because we are using a single angle bracket, okay? When you write here double angle brackets, it means that you're telling the terminal that you have to append this to the file, okay? And when you're having a single angle bracket, it means that the new result will replace the old result, okay? So let's go ahead and let's see that how we can cope up with that. So right now we have the result for ls, right? So let's say that we also want to store ls hyphen al into that. Okay, if we just do that, okay, output dot text, then what's going to happen that it's going to replace the previous result, okay, which is ls result, and um, there, there's going to be a new result. But if we do something like this, now it's not going to replace that, rather it's going to append. So if we hit enter here, and if we nano again, you can see that Previous result is still there, and now it has added the result into it, okay? So I hope you have got the point. You could do this thing with as many files as you can, all right? So this is the main concept. So if you want to redirect a bash script result, process is similar, okay? So let's say that we have world.sh a file here, which is a shell scripting file, which has a simple for loop, which would result into um, from zero to 10 numbers, all right? So let's say that if we wanna move this result into our file, or we wanna redirect it, how do we do that? Same process, we just write here world.sh, that's how you basically run a batch script, and then you're gonna write here an angle bracket, and then you're gonna write here a file name where you wanna store. 
So you could basically store it in the output.txt or you can create a new file. So let's say we want to store it inside the output.txt. And one other thing I want is that I want to replace it. So if I would write here double angle brackets, it would redirect it and append the output to that file. If I do that, it would totally replace everything that is in their output.txt and it would paste the result there alone. Okay, so if I do that, and now if I nano the output uh, dot text, you will see that now the result is from zero to 10. Okay, so let's say if I want to append it, um, I make a little change in the script. So let's say from 11 to let's say 20. Okay, so now I save this script, I go ahead, I run my script, Okay, and then I want to append it. Okay, so now what's going to happen? There are already numbers from 0 to 10. Now we're going to have numbers from 11 to 20 as well. And these, this result is going to append into that file. If we hit enter, no errors, which means everything is fine. So if we go to output.txt file, you can see the numbers from 0 to uh, 20 or 19 actually yes we have 20 so that's how you basically do the bash redirect thing okay with all bash commands and with all sorts of bash scripts hope you have enjoyed this video you have learned something new for written articles you can always visit our website linuxin.com thank you so much for watching